there'll be new opportunities for businesses to be created that manage your internet enabled devices for you. So imagine entertainment. You might have your mobile that you interact with to say uh, to a service on the network, please make sure that I have the following television programs to watch or the following radio programs to listen to or the following music to listen to. The system takes care of all the details of do I uh, load this on the uh, disks at home, do I put it on the uh, disks in the automobile, do I download some of it into the laptop or into the mobile. Uh, all of these systems will be available to us online. The other thing which is really important is that our social interactions and our business interactions will all be mediated through computer-based communication. We're already seeing this rapid trend towards that, and there'll be more and more of that as time goes on. I hope that's all positive. I, mean, I, I have an optimistic view that uh, software can actually make our lives a lot easier, although I suspect everyone in this room has had the experience that software made life more difficult, too. And so there's a tension between having things that will help us do our jobs and, and live our lives better and things that don't work the way we expect them to. So that means programmers are not going to be out of a job. There will always be something for programmers to do. So when you say you're optimistic about how it's going to change our lives, do you think there are going to be pitfalls in, in where we're heading? Well, there always are going to be pitfalls. Any technology like the Internet has good and bad uses, and we read about them all the time. You write stories about them. People who commit fraud on the network, people who insult other people on the network or bully them on the network. We're going to have to learn how to use this technology wisely uh, and uh, safely in the same way that we've had to learn to use other technology. And think about it for a moment, automobiles. What do people do with automobiles? Well, sometimes they drink and they get drunk and they get into the cars and they run into other people or they run into the property and they, they damage themselves and other things. We don't ban the cars, we ban the behavior. And we say to people, if you do the wrong thing, if you do things that are not socially acceptable, and if we catch you, doing those things, we'll agree that that's not acceptable in our society and we will, you know, there will be consequences. So we're going to have to learn how to adapt to the power of, of things like the internet and how to decide as a society what behaviors are acceptable and which ones are not. It won't be any different than what we've done with other technology. It's just a different technology, that's all. Okay, other questions, yes? The development of multimedia products, how will it affect the traditional media? This is, a, this is a very good question that many people ask is, well, what's going to happen to the traditional media, especially the mass media? Two things have already happened. One of them is that the mass media traditionally have a small number of producers and a large number of consumers, and the Internet is changing that equation. The basics, though, of the media are not going to be any different in the Internet than they are in traditional paper and uh, uh, radio and television publication. You still need people to produce content. You still need reporters, you still need editors, you still need all of that process. Uh, a blogger is not necessarily a substitute for a thoughtfully produced and researched story. So I think all of those mechanics will still be there, but the economics will be different. Instead of having to print things on paper and physically deliver them, or make CDs and DVDs and physically deliver them, or store them, this will all be online. So that piece of the cost will go away. But all the other functionality is still there, and I point out to you, advertising online does work. Google is a good example of that. So the advertising-driven industries, uh, mass media industries today, can use that business model. They just have to translate it from the medium that they're currently using to uh, the medium of the net. And I will say one thing, this afternoon I'm going to be talking about IPTV in more detail. There is an unexplored avenue for advertising with IP television, which no one has exploited yet.